James Kaufman, World News Report, today, May 13th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had an X 1.2 solar flare on the departing edge of our solar disk. This was generated by Sunspot Group AR 40. Eight, six. Now, a lot of people haven't figured that out yet, but that is the Sunspot Group that this came from. Taking a look at Sunspot Group AR4086, you can see that it's a rather large, complex-looking Sunspot. I don't think we've had any trouble whatsoever from it as it passed over the entire Earth-facing solar disk. Well, it's much further around the limb now. This picture was taken last night, and I will show you closer to where it is now. Even though this flare was so far around the limb, it definitely affected Earth. Obviously, our GOES satellite picked it up, and it started the beginnings of a solar storm. In other words, a proton storm. All right, over to HMI Intensigram, we can see that 4086 has really made its way around that far limb, and it's probably even further around it now. So this flare might have been much stronger than a X1.2 and partially eclipsed by the edge of our sun here, or the limb of our sun. All right, over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. We can see that that impact was generally over the Atlantic parts of the Caribbean and somewhat over North America and South America, especially Venezuela. Happened at about 1540 UTC time. Now, it doesn't look like that strong of an event, but it's definitely created a coronal mass ejection, and that coronal mass ejection definitely has an Earth component to it. If not, you wouldn't see these x-rays light up our poles and actually create a polar absorption event. Yes, that's right. A polar absorption event has been created from that, well, departing X flare. Unbelievable. Now we're not yet up to an S1 solar storm, but we're heading in that direction, and you can see that protons are, well, actually pouring into the North Pole at this point. NOAA has put out a warning. Uh, actually, strong flare event. May 13th, an X1.2 solar flare from a region on the western limb. Now, they don't really call out the sunspot, but it has been determined as of now. An X1.2 flare occurred at about 1538 UTC time. The source of the event was a region on the western limb. The last flare of this magnitude occurred on the 28th of March, 2025. So we've had a very long quiet period here. This is the largest flare we've seen in some time. Over to our GOES proton flux. It looks like we might not reach that S1 solar storm unless there's some sort of reinforcing solar flare. It's like we came very close to a solar storm, although we are in a polar cap absorption event, and we did have a huge influx of protons, as you can see here. It just didn't make the space weather threshold of 10 million volts. Over to SDO, 195 angstroms, we can see where that X flare popped right here. It's like it's ongoing. The other things that we need to notice about our solar disk currently is we have several dark filaments dancing up here. 
They could leave the surface of our sun, creating a coronal mass ejection at any time. And we have a very large coronal hole also working its way to be Earth-facing. It's been working its way around the incoming limb for a couple of days now. We also have some nasty-looking sunspots that are also working their way around that incoming limb. With that said, God bless, guys. Please stay safe. Please share our video. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.